taught in the same school now for 10 years. Recently, I came across a group of students pulling at the low branches of one of the trees on our school grounds. I went over to see what was going on. Oh, hello, sir. We're picking cherries, they said. You're tall. Can you reach that branch? Picking cherries? Where are the cherries? I asked. The cherry tree, sir. Didn't you see the blossom? The kids pointed upwards, where dozens of ripe cherries hung glistening in the afternoon sun. I'd seen the blossom every year for a decade. I'd also mistakenly assumed the trees to be ornamental, the kind that don't bear fruit. I found a cherry lying on the grass, cleaned it with my thumb and took a bite. The students were grinning at me. It's delicious, I said. We told you, they replied. Then all around me, I noticed fallen cherries and cherry stones. I'd assumed they didn't exist, and so never bothered to look for them. I'd missed what was right there in front of my eyes. This story got me thinking. What if we simply assume that goodness and kindness and material wealth are not there? If we do, do we become blind to them?